Yeah. Sure all that? Wow. Headbrush. Hello and welcome. Now you see the title, you know what this is about. It's an unboxing of a VHS. Now if you hear any weird little instruments or squeaks and you know, um, we're getting ready to film Last Resort. So we're getting there. Drumsticks and all. Drum roll please for Last Resort finally. This is not Last Resort, this is an unboxing. Now, I've been quite good. I haven't done an unboxing for quite some time. I don't do the unboxings every month. And as you've probably seen the channel, like, they're probably not gonna take much more. And I don't need any more Corey Hain ones. Now there might be a fox and the hound out there somewhere for maybes. And then I started getting the German ones a couple of, like three or four months ago, didn't I? And you know, even they're taking space up. But when it comes to dream, my little dream, um, never gonna beat the one we did in HMV, the start of the, oh my God, I'm start this year, I'm start last year. Back in the last year, the, the HMV dream, little dream when B was down here, never gonna top that. And then the vlog that followed that when it was late coming in and just showing some sheer love. Now, Carmack Soli's never recovered since the podcast we did for it, but check out the podcast. So all the years, all across, even painting down the stairs, dream a little dream now hopefully it's dream a little dream but why did i buy this now i got one of these in me bin and here it is all the way from germany i bought it i bought it because it was ridiculously cheap like 17 pound including postage and it's from daniel keller because he has sold me stuff before because i've got a friend called dan kelly from ink i've seen him for a very long time like but you know that's why i remembered ah you know joke there so I'll have an unboxing yeah I probably bought one of the German ones so I think German we've got blown away teen dream machine I had that one quite a while werewolf of Taka Mills was quite a new one roller boys and um, that has seen a bit of a release but it's getting a lot of weird feedback and reviews so I don't know if it's a bit of a bootleg on DVD on a German site obviously another roller boys I'll be standing here at Christmas. Busted. That's, that's definitely good. Um, one of the watches. Probably, no, that one, that's newest. Yeah, so do one of them. So watches too can essentially maybe come off if I really struggle for space, but I might find a gap here. Now this guy just wraps it up. And you, well, so. Desperado. That's quite a good price on beer, that. So wrapped in newspaper. I've said both from this guy before. Again, wow. So, number one hit, rock on. A bit crusty. So, you want a music cameo? This is Elizabeth Little. So, I've got something new. Now, why is Elizabeth Little just randomly appearing in this video? I'll tell you why, right? Because Dream Little Dream has an awesome soundtrack. And after years of wondering what the fuck happens with this movie that I've talked about time and time again, the soundtrack's great. The music's great. So it's great to acknowledge a bit of music within this video. And I pretty much should be sitting there doing the video you've just seen. <laughs> That's what I'm meant to be doing. But I'm doing this. So, yeah. Dream Little Dream. So, some pop there. That's there. So, big box. Original. Best run release within the UK. Extremely rare. Includes the number one single, Rock On. So we've got that. Burgundy box as well. That's Vesteron's trademark. And there, so sweat and destroy everything behind us. Dream a little dream. New Zealand import. Now this is the one, and this is the first time I've ever seen it where I got in New Zealand. Still remember cutting grass and chopping logs all fucking summer in New Zealand to save up a bit of pennies to buy stuff like watches and Dream a Little Dream. So Dream a Little Dream is always going to have that. The DVD is pretty but ugly. And I've got the laser disc down there. The vinyl's a good shout. Um, never been able to get it on American Import. But the biggest collection of Dream a Little Dream is down here on the small box sell throughs and obviously the big reveal at the end of the Dream a Little Dream one in HMV is that's still got a HMV sticker on and that is extremely rare and that will be the only one I think in the world to have a HMV sticker on and then the Vesteron sell through and the one that comes with the collection of Corey Hain movies when first independent came across so 
is there much difference? Now, the one thing about Dream Little Dream is the back of the box seems to miraculously change between the UK and the New Zealand ones, and so does this one. Fellman look around the corner, Fellman with a spray gun, him and uh, looks like Laurie Pike with that, and the collision course. So if you're Justin Roberts or um, Harry Dean Stanton, who the fuck are you at this point? Completely, again, you look at them too, and especially Harry Dean Stanton, um, just completely goosed from the box. Dinger, his name checked first, uh, only his best friend Bobby, um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I don't speak German, but yeah, as I said, it's a little bit crusty on there, could have done with definitely a bit of a wipe. Ugh. Wipes on standby. So I'm pretty much uh, getting ready to do, if you've been watching my two Corey series, I'm getting ready to do the final episode actually. It's a little bit of crust. So yeah, let me put it off. But again, can't really complain. Um, comedy, Dream Little Dream, the opposite way around, but best run entertainment. Ops not to have the font actually in the thing as well, which is pretty weird. And normally in the UK one, it's just maybe just sitting on the top there. Inside, dream a little dream. You don't get more basic than that. Dream a little dream. Um, and it's not a flip cover. And unlike some of the other general ones, like uh, watches in there, it's not actually physically stuck. So, if we take Busted down, Busted, and Dream a Little Dream 2 goes along, or Dream a Little Dream 2, a new Little Dream a Little Dream can go there, and the original two Dream a Little Dreams can go there. There's also a side pop vinyl of Dream Little Dream up there, and then the Dream Little Dreams can go back to where they came from. And I'll see you in the outtake for where we put Busted. Okay, a massive shout out to the video shop down in Altington. Yeah, not you know, I was butchering the name wrong, but Rob was awesome. Actually, it was a milk carton which didn't survive the trip back. Bear in mind, we crashed the mini on the way down, had to wait for the air. Uh, I've been trying, to be honest with you, to fix this. So I didn't want to damage it. See, he's probably glued it down. He's done an amazing job of this. But laddie's on the bottom there. I don't want to rush this. I need to fix that at some point. Oh, a drumstick. So I was filming a band in here, and uh, the band is called Last Case Scenario. <laughs> That was just a very quick clip, but the drummer drumstick went flying across and actually found it after we finished playing. But yeah, that's helped uh, push Laddie out there. See, he was nice guy chance when I met him. Um, and what did I, he signed that, that's in there. Yeah. He's got the bandwagon, probably has a, he doesn't need to act, probably put his head down and stuff there, but yeah. Oh, where's Buster going? Um. <laughs> Bit of space here, I would say. Yeah. Time to live. Moving on. They are the hit older him ones, so let's just randomly put busted right there. And to be honest with you, there is no more room. That dream a little dream was like, oh bye! Because it was cheap. Looked at some other stuff. There's a one that I've liked for ages, fast getaway too. And it's um it's actually quite good because if you see it, it's him jumping off the wall. Because on the Fast Getaway 2 from British release, it's him falling through the sky. At no point does he fall any foot higher than five foot. You know what I mean? And uh, it's quite a good cover. And it's £47. Pound. But in the minute, someone on eBay, wow, check it out. Me and Rob's been talking about this. Some of these, like, blown away, £115. Pound. Really? really? Scooby School, like, crazy. Like... Some films up there, like Burbs, you would buy it on Arrow. If you want to watch the Burbs, you would buy it on Arrow video. It looks absolutely class. Wouldn't buy it there. Stand By Me is on a nice release. The Goonies looks nice. Gremlins is out there. The stick's going to go flying in a minute. But if you need to see Meatballs 4, Hiya Dan, Summer Vacation, it's the only way you're going to see it. Born Bad, pff, that's the only way I've ever seen that. So some of these, if you were trying to track them down, especially if you're a Haim fan though, 
Watches out in DVD, that's fair enough. Roller Boys, that's it, you're gonna see that. Double O Kids there, the Demolition News. You know, some of these films are only available on VHS without malice, you know. Aye, Fast Getaways, until recently Fast Getaway got a release and I still haven't got around to watching it. That's its own little video. So anyway, even though I believe sometimes I've got everything when it comes to these guys, some will creep out there and the people like myself, like Daniel Keller in Germany, if you ever see this, you know, he's probably selling his collection and stuff. So yeah, another copy of Dream a Little Dream. If you haven't seen it, I like it. it. Took me a long time to like it though, but it's all down to the soundtrack. Hence why we've had a bit of music and probably have a guest cameo at the very end because that's all I've done the last couple of weeks. Not in box stuff, band stuff. Make sure you check out my new music video for Matt Fairley as well. When it comes out, keep in watch over nothing. It's a lot of love for the two Corys and that. Goodbye for now. Watch over nothing. Watch over nothing. You always say I was a trouble nigga. A bona fide masochist. Time to see enough to get you here. How can you resist?